In this presentation, I will show you how to set up your Leica Captivate software to collect static GNSS raw data. I am using a CS35 tablet and a GS16 GNSS antenna for this um, presentation. I have previously created a project called Back Mountain, and I have collected a couple of uh, observations using our RTN network, like a smart net. Now I want to collect static raw data on the point. So what I would need to do is um, I could leave my working style that I previously created for RTK data in place and then simply go to my settings and turn on my raw data logging. So I would go to settings, GS sensor, GNSS raw data. In this case, I would check the box here that says log GNSS raw data. I would select a place to store the data. Now you do have two options for that. You could log to the CS controller, uh, which is your CS35 tablet or your, G or your CS20 data collector, or you could log data to the GS sensor. If you choose to log to the sensor, you need to make sure that you have a memory card installed. For the GS16 and the GS14, that would be a micro SD card that installs under the battery uh, in the sensor. Uh, for the GS15, that would be a standard SD card, and that also installs inside the port, port 1 for the battery. So again, I'm going to collect our raw data to the CS controller. I'm going to do that as static. You also have the option of static and kinematic. And I'm going to log my raw data at, at a five second interval. Press OK. Again, I have my job back mountain. I will go to my measure screen and enter my point number, my rod height, and press measure. Now, so we have, so as you'll notice, we're on our RTK screen and we, we have set the display here to provide information for when we are RTK surveying. If you want to change the observation or, or the screen layout, then what we would need to do is create a working style so for static survey. So let's run through that. So the first thing we'll do is stop our measurement. We'll go ahead and record Point that. Stored. And then we'll go back to our settings. We'll go to customization. We'll go to working style. And I'm going to create a new working style. In this case, we're going to call it static, and we'll call it five second. You can fill out the other information here if you'd like. I'll put my initials. Go to my next screen. I'll tell it what I want to, what satellites I want to observe. In this case, my GS16 has GPS and GLONASS enabled. I can go to the advanced tab, and this case I have my cutoff angle set to four de degrees. Now this copied the settings from my last working style which was an RTK working style and I did set some limits for my RTK. In this case since I'm doing static surveys I'm not going to limit my receiver and have it stop tracking or stop recording information based on GDOP readings or anything like that. So I'll set my, my DOP limits to none. I will set my rover antenna. You can set this up uh, based on your configuration as a GS16 on a pole, a GS16 with a tripod. We can also set this up and uh, marry this with a like a total station. In this case, I'm, I'm doing my observation on a pole. So I'll press OK. I can set my default height. Uh, in this case, I want to set this to 1.8 meters or 5.905 feet. And I'm also going to check the box here to show antenna type when starting an app. And that'll just give me a reminder of the antenna I'm using when I do my measurements. I'll press OK. Uh, I am not going to automatically stop me the point measurement because we're doing a, a timed observation for static observation. I typically leave the automatically store point box checked. That keeps me from accidentally deleting all my, my observations by not pressing store when I've completed my measurement. Since it's a static point, I'm not going to check the quality because we're going to be doing that via post-processing in the office. So I'll say OK. And again, we're back to the screen we saw earlier where we're talking about how we're going to log our GNSS raw data. In this case, I'm going to set this up to log again to the controller. I'll press OK. I'll press OK for my point template. Now, 
Uh, in this case, because we're doing static observations, we're not uh, going to be doing a topo. I would suggest to you that you might want to set your coding functionality to only code points, no line work. Go ahead and make sure that allow new codes to be created is, is checked. That way you can type in uh, whatever you would like for the description of your point. I'm going to uncheck the search for codes box. And the reason I'm setting this up this way is this gives me more flexibility on what I'll see on in my measure screen for um, on how I can configure that screen. So once we have this set, I'll press page. I'm not going to do quick coding. I'll say OK. Now I get to define my survey screen and my measure screen, how it's going to look. So I've got this set to page one. I'll press edit. And the way I typically like to set this up is you'll notice that the first line is point ID, and that can't be changed. Uh, my second line I normally set as my antenna height. And then I'll set a code field. I like to see the time we have at point. I like to see our log draw data counter. And then if you need to evaluate or review your GDOP or PDOP measurements while you're on the while you're occupying the point, you can set those. And then anything else from our list that you would want to see on the screen you can set that. I'm just going to make this another unused line and I'll press OK. Press OK again. Don't really need to set any hot keys at this point so I'll press OK. I'm going to enter all my data before I store my observation so I'll leave this box, these boxes blank. We can then set our units. Um, right now I'm in US survey feet. I can change that to metric. Again all of these are kind of personal settings here so can, you can choose the different options. I'll press OK. Since I'm not using a total station, I'm not going to be entering uh, temperature and pressure when this working style wor starts. I'll just press, I'll uncheck those boxes and press OK. We'll leave our position update rate as, as the default. Press OK. Press OK here. And we now have our working style created. If you want to make sure that that is in fact the, work, the current working style, you can go back to settings, customization, working style wizard, and it tells you which working style that you have selected. So now I want to go back to the measure screen and, and restart our measurement, our static measurement on our point. So I'll press measure. It reminds me that the type of pole that I have. So I'll press OK. You know, we now have point number three. And I'll show you here that you can expand the screen out. So now we can put in the point number. We can put in the height. We can put in a code. And now I'm ready to measure. And you'll notice that we're now getting our time at point shown. And we are getting the number of raw observations that we've collected and you'll notice that we set a five second observation rate and the log draw data counter is stepping up every five seconds. We also have our GDOP and our PDOP. When we're finished with our measurement we can stop that point stored. and the point is automatically stored.